Oh, hello. Good to see you. Welcome to my humble abode. Hey, I'm Jordan, you're a square distance travel. Oh my god. To figure that I might as well start with the basics and tell you a bit about myself. My name is John. Um, I'm 16 and a half years old and I live in Brisbane, Australia. So who am I in relation to LGBTQ issues you query? Um, I identify as male most of the time. And I'm absolutely pre-everything. Um, but I'll talk about that more in a minute. Alright, so interesting things. I enjoy art, drawings, paintings, um, sculpture, basically anything. Anything arty. I love music. I play the violin. I sing. <laughs> I love films and filmmaking, animation, uh, the stuff that goes with films like sets and cameras and special effects. I also like to read and write, and I drink tea all the time. I like to run and go cycling, and I also climb trees. I love to make people laugh, uh, and I also laugh at my own jokes. Yes, I am that person. Um, So, moving right along now, I'll get to talk about my identity. Bear with me, it is kind of confusing, uh, but you'll see why in a second. I don't use male pronouns, uh, nor do I go by John out in the big wide world. Yes, I do identify as a guy, but I'm not out to any of my family, uh, so I can't constantly present as male as irritating as that is, and as frustrating as that is, because I am female at my school, and there are also gender... gender... There are also gender specific uniforms, so yeah. Next part of this is why did I decide to join this channel? As a trans guy who's still so far into the closet that sometimes I find myself in Narnia, I know what first realizations are like. Whether you felt transgender for as long as you can remember, or if you're having doubts about your gender identity when you're older, realizations can still hit home pretty hard and support can sometimes be elusive. When I first started searching for support, I turned to YouTube, and I found people who I could really relate to. Finding people who know exactly what I was going through was helping me to ultimately accept who I am. For a long time I felt lost, and to be honest, I still do, but without these people who share their experiences with coming out, passing, realizations, and basically everything LGBTQ related, I wouldn't have had the courage to even contemplate dealing with it myself, let alone coming to terms with it. Support and advice are two main things that are so simple to provide to someone in order to help them achieve some kind of closure or internal peace. Every little bit helps. And nobody should have to do it alone. I know I don't want to embark on this journey on my own either. So I guess I'm just like you. I need love, support, and challenges. I need people to contradict me and my values, to help me try to understand who I am and what I stand for. I want to share my experiences and gain wisdom from those of others. After all, we're all in this together. Hit subscribe to see a bunch of awesome people every single week talking about LGBTQ issues.